If you want to know how to lock your SIM card to your iPhone or Android device, then you've come to the right video. But first, let's talk about a few key bits of information that other SIM lock videos don't cover. Now, what are the pros of locking the SIM card in your phone? Well, if your phone is stolen or lost, someone can't pull your SIM card out and put it in another phone, then use that to reset your application passwords to your bank, your brokerage, your crypto, IRA, email, et cetera, et cetera, or use your mobile service to impersonate you. Also, the SIM lock buys you some time, so it's going to take a little bit longer for a hacker, for example, if they get a hold of your phone, get a hold of your SIM card to uh, take control over that SIM card and to be able to turn it on with your carrier. Now, what are the cons of a SIM lock? It does buy you time, but if the wrong person gets your physical phone and can pull out that physical SIM card, that SIM card has an IMSI number on it. That IMSI number tells them what country your operator's from, and it also tells them what operator you use. So it's going to tell them that you use AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, for example, or if you're in the U.S., and then it also has a unique identifier of that SIM. Now, if the, if the wrong person gets that MZ number, then they are going to use that to try and get more information about you, impersonate you, and try and get what's called a PUK code. So if you ever set a pin lock on your phone, and then you know, a year, two years later, you forget whatever code you used, then you can call your carrier and get this PUK code, but so can a hacker. So it buys you time, but you give the wrong person enough time and they are going to get to you. Um, now, the other con is that every time you reboot your phone, not only are you going to have to unlock your phone to be able to use it, for example, like enter in the pin you have for your phone or your fingerprint or your face ID, however you've got it set, you're also going to have to enter in the PIN to unlock that SIM card. So it's a small sacrifice to have the security if you were to ever lose your device to um, give yourself some more time to deal with uh, losing the device and, and potentially getting into the wrong hands. Now, the other kind of a SIM lock with a PIN is that it's no defense against a SIM swap. So some people think that in order to, for somebody to steal your mobile account away and use it, they have to get access to your physical device. A SIM swap is where a nefarious person uses different tactics to get your operator to switch your service to connect the network to the SIM in your hands, in your phone, to a SIM card in the device that's in the hands of the hacker. So now your device is totally out of the equation. Your SIM lock has nothing to do with it. The pin on your phone has nothing to do with it. If a hacker wants to target you, they're going to use different tactics steal your mobile account away completely and it doesn't matter how secure your device is if you're using a secure phone if your mobile service is pointed to a different sim card thousands of miles away then the sim pin has no defense for you now if you do want a secure mobile service that blocks sim swaps then check out afani.com but now let's learn how to do the sim card lock on your device if you have an android then go to settings Go to security, more security, then choose SIM card lock. Now, there's different variations of Android, different countries, different uh, phones, uh, but those are the basics. So choose SIM card lock. If you have an iPhone, then go to settings, then cellular, then SIM pin. Uh, if you have a dual SIM, you may have to actually select SIM 1 or SIM 2 and then choose the SIM pin, uh, but you should be able to find the SIM pin. Now, don't turn the SIM lock on yet. There's a couple items I want to review just to make sure that you don't take a wrong turn and actually lock it up. Uh, but when you turn on the SIM lock, you will be asked for a SIM pin. And this is a default SIM pin. So if this is the first time turning it on, it's going to ask you for a four-digit default passcode. And will warn you that you usually have like three attempts. I've seen uh, Google searches tell me that it's sometimes three, sometimes seven, sometimes 10 to get it right. And if you use up all those attempts, it's going to lock your SIM up. And I'll give you instructions at the end on how to unlock if you happen to do that. But just want to warn you before you take the, the next step. Um, now, each operator has a default patch code, which is usually 1111, 0000, or 1234. I Googled this for AT&T and Verizon and both said that the default pass code was 1111. So on my own phones, I used this twice, and both uh, in both cases, 1111 worked. Now, if you ever used the SIM lock feature before and had to unlock it using a PUK code, then the default PIN will change. It will no longer be 1111 for at and or Verizon. For example, on Verizon, that default PIN now changes to 0000. So keep that in mind. If your SIM was ever locked previously, 
and you want to lock it again, your default SIM is now 0000. But Google this yourself, especially if you're on a different operator. I would also suggest that if you make two attempts and fail, then bail out of the lock feature and contact your provider before that third attempt, especially if the only thing you have on you is your cell phone or your SIM may get locked and then you can't use your cell phone to contact your provider. So let's move forward and turn on the SIM lock. Now enter the default four digit passcode and if correct, it will confirm the lock. Now you can change the SIM pin and you wanna do this. Otherwise, if you don't change the SIM pin, then the hacker is just gonna simply enter in the default passcodes and get into your SIM anyway. So make sure that you do set a SIM pin. Once you change your SIM lock pin, you're now set. And if someone got a hold of your device, your physical device, and removed that SIM, tried to put it in another phone, then it is going to be unusable for another device. Um, and it will also be unusable for your device that they now have. The SIM pin is different than the pin you would enter to unlock your phone. So choose a lock number you will remember. So, you know, when I have to reboot my phone, I've got one pin that I can use to unlock the operating system. And then I've got the second number that I would use to unlock my SIM. Now, if you ever did forget your SIM lock code, then you can still unlock it with a PUK code. Sometimes you can find the PUK on the original card if you still have the business card size piece of plastic. Or you can call your service provider and request the PUK, which can take some time for them to provide. But when you get the PUK, you can unlock your SIM code, start over, you're back in business. Again, the SIM card lock only helps when someone has access to your physical device. One of the fastest growing threats to your mobile is an actual SIM swap, which can be done remotely. They don't need to know you. They just need to know enough information about you, which they can get off the dark web, off the internet, off of social media, and then impersonate you. If you want to secure yourself and insure yourself against SIM swaps and SIM swap losses, then check out the secure mobile service plan at afani.com where your account is protected from SIM swaps, and it's also protected from the release of your PUK.